So a guy has his primary job, which pays the bills, kind of, sort of. And he has this side hustle, which is the whole computer thing, which we build computers, flip them, do the whole YouTube on that. And he also has a third hustle because, well, why not? So in case you guys didn't know, I have another YouTube channel. It's DLM Garage. And in that channel, um, I just do guides of everything I fix and do in my garage. Uh, lawn equipment, cars, I mean, you name it. Anything that I could find that people throw out, I fix it make some extra money fixing it or flip it and it works pretty good and I might even have some more projects coming on with it so um, if you guys don't mind definitely check it out and uh, drop me a sub on that one that's DLM garage and I'll post a link to it so now back to DLM tech garage and over here in DLM tech garage well we just build everything and do the whole budget hustle on that and show you guys how to do it so I need a computer for the DLM garage. Now I have my test bench PC, which I have tucked all the way over there, and she's kind of nice. I mean, she's got a GTX 980, which that's pretty good, and she's got that i7 7800X, which that's pretty good too. And I don't want it to get damaged and dirty and contaminated with all the stuff that happens in this garage. So I decided I need to build something small, something simple, so that I could get on the whole YouTube, internet, look up some manuals and order parts when I need be so yeah and also a computer that I'm willing to sacrifice in the event that dust and crest gets in there and I get a little negligent in keeping her clean about maybe a couple of weeks ago I have bought the coin mine motherboard so I bought this coin mine motherboard and she worked out pretty okay. I mean, she got the job done. She played the whole Windows 10 all right and nothing to brag home about. But nonetheless, it was pretty decent. But I need something a little more powerful than that. And guys, you might want to stay tuned to the end of the video because um, we might be doing something with this. Uh, maybe a giveaway? I don't know. Definitely stay tuned to the end of the video. So right around the whole eBay, I decided I needed something decent not too fast mostly pretty cheap didn't want to go expensive and this is what we came up with so I have a video that should be released or showed out where I have an i7 2600 is this the 2600 yeah this is the 2600 non-k which is a pretty good CPU and we did a review on the performance of the i7 second gen definitely check out that video and this is the non-k and I actually got this thing for about twenty dollars but there kind of was a catch it was covered in roach crap and roach poo and we didn't know if it worked but still we were able to clean it so hopefully check out that video whenever it comes out needed the whole ddr3 memory so we were just able to pick some up and i got some of that going on right here so we got two four gig sticks and we have this motherboard not the one in the box the b360 which that would have been kind of nice but we don't have that one going on so let's see if I can get this out one-handed so this is what we got I got this motherboard on the old eBay paid like $30 for it and it even came with an IO plate I know pretty sweet right $30 the H61 MV ITX from ASRock supports uh, up to 16 gigs of memory Intel second and third gen uh, I think we got some USB 3.0 action going on over here yep 3.0 action over here um, yeah definitely not an overclocking motherboard uh for sata ports little usb 2.0 and nothing fancy beyond that but it does have integrated graphics so that's good because um we're definitely not going to be able to put a or we're going to need we're definitely not going to need a graphics card for this build or setup so let's go ahead let's get this coin mine motherboard out of here and let's start putting this thing together and i'll probably put you guys on the yeah build cam so let's go ahead and first things first Let's kind of set this up real quick. Now they put a piece of paper to protect the pin, so that was pretty cool the seller. The unfortunate thing is I bought this like maybe a month ago, so I haven't tested it and I didn't even check the pins, so did they look good to you guys? They look okay to me. Okay, let's get our CPU. All right, we're pretty much done. So now for a CPU cooler, because I'm gonna be using this Coinbase ITX case, whatever well not the coinbase but this antec itx case i was really thinking about uh, just trying to put a little bling action in this thing just because well i just want to be one of the cool kids with rtx with um not rtx with uh rgb 
And I was going to use this, which is, I got this on the old eBay. It has Battlefield guys on it, so it's got to be good, right? It's called Cool Storm, made in China, 2021. And I paid like $10 for this. All right, that works out pretty good. So now we're going to take off the sticker on the bottom. All right, now that it's clean, let's go ahead and use the thermal paste. It's called Halninzui Thermal Compound. Yeah, so this is not going to be an overclocking gaming rig whatsoever. So I just need thermal paste just to have it. So if it performs, as long as it just performs just enough to play the internet a little bit. And that's All right, that works pretty good. Now it's a little tight as far as trying to squeeze it in for this uh, PCI Express port, but it's fine. We're not using it for anything. And honestly, if we wanted to put a card over here, this would not be the cooler for it. But like I said, this is just for the old information superhighway. That's about it. Now let's plug this in. Hopefully that's the right way it goes. All right. We're going to tuck this in nice and not neatly because, well, I'm not going for aesthetics. So now that's done. Let's go ahead. Let's disassemble my coin base board and figure this out. And I already see a potential issue. Snafu. Opportunity to mod. Yeah. So let me head over there. Start on this right here. And we're going to talk about that. Okay. So remove the coin base motherboard. Pop this one in and just shoved all the wires right in there. Just kind of scrunched them in there pretty good where there's no sense to it. And I already see an issue. So this CPU cooler is pretty tall. Yep. And if you look, she ain't going to close. Now, it's not the end of the world. I could run it like this, but that just don't seem right. Um, I could go out and spend $30, $40 on a... CPU cooler that's low profile that would work probably or I could just go ahead and just chop this thing up and make it work which that seems the, like the right thing to do and that's probably what I'm gonna do this is just a budget cheap thing so yeah uh, they're looking at it I think I could go ahead and take off this mesh which we're gonna go ahead and do and by taking off this mesh then I could kind of see how much of the mesh if not having to cut some of this bottom frame over here and that way we can try to get it fit. So let me go ahead and start taking this mesh off. So what I'm thinking now is I kind of got it lined up and right on the bottom over here, which let's get you guys in the angle. I might just take this marker and just kind of mark it like a little bit here and a little bit over here just to kind of get an idea of where we need to snip it. And I might just take like a Dremel tool and just go little by little and just take that out and that should work. And then as far as this, then as far as this, we could maybe get a hole saw and just kind of cut that out just to make it a little even. even. So let's get to Dremeling, doing some hole saw and let's see what we come up with. Hopefully it don't look too jacked up. Now this is what I call one of those social distancing builds. And the reason why is, is because from six feet away, this actually don't look too bad. But when you get in closer, you can see where I got a little carried away with the Dremel tool. But hey, it works, fan is through. So I should be able to kind of wire everything up. So I'm gonna go ahead with the little build montage and show you how it comes out. And then we'll talk about it.
hey, she don't look too bad. I mean, as a social distancing mod type bill, it looks great. Like I said, what I mean social distancing is from six feet away. Oh yeah, she looking sharp, she looking good, but then when you get up close and then you can kind of see some of my imperfections, but we're not worried about that. The whole point of this is, is this is just a small garage build. These were parts that I got on eBay and reused. I paid, I think I paid like $20 for the case, 30 for the motherboard, 50, 20 for the CPU, 70, and I think the memory, I got it for 10 bucks, 80, and I paid about 10 for this one, 90, and then of course the solid state drive I've had lying around, but if honestly I could have just gotten 120 gig for 20 bucks. So for 110 dollars, I actually have an i7 2600 running with 120 gig hard drive so it worked fine and if we wanted to we could put it in a bigger better case run a graphics card all that good jazz but that was not the point of this the point is, is that i just needed a cheap computer just something small that i could kind of tuck away in the corner still have my whole bench laid out so i could work on computers and be able to get on the interweb if we need to get drivers updates if we need to get um software uh, benchmarking tools a diagram I know a lot of times when I'm working on laptops uh, I like to look at a diagram to see what I have or just take notes and also the fact that you know I also have my DLM garage channel and I need diagrams on some of the stuff I'm taking apart or needing to order parts last minute so now I have the options for that yes I have my test bench like we spoke about but a little big and bulky for what I need it for that thing works great for when we're doing tests and reviews but as far as something like this I like it small compact and out of the way so um, guys definitely comment down below and let me know your thoughts um, what else should we do to it what do you guys think I mean I'm thinking about modding it now that I think about it the RGB fan works great there's no control over it so we just get a little bling action but I'm actually thinking about maybe doing another two-tone paint job get rid of this gray and black and go to custom color paint the grill maybe black out these cables over here I don't know or maybe I should just leave it alone because it's just really a junkyard garage build. So now this coin mine motherboard. A lot of you guys made some great suggestions about what I should do with it, different ideas and all that stuff. And I'll be honest with you, I really don't have the time nor do I feel like um, really tinkering with this anymore. But maybe you guys will. So here's what you can do. We're at 2,850 subscribers. At the end of September, if we hit 3,000 subscribers, I'm going to give it away to one of you guys. Now, if we're able to reach a goal of 4,000, let's say 4,000 subscribers, not only will I, you get this, but I'll also throw in a 500 gig solid state drive. Not the one that I uh, used hot glue gun to fix, but actually a new fresh one so you can have for this build. So this is what I need you to do. Definitely like the video, subscribe to the channel, comment, and let me know what would you do down below? What would you, your idea in your builds? And definitely share um, this channel to help us reach our goal on your social media, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, I don't know, whatever, Instagram, all that good stuff, uh, even on TikTok. Now, what you can do too to also help your chances is, is that um, we do have a TikTok, DLM Tech Garage on TikTok. We do have an Instagram, DLM Tech Garage, and a Twitter on TLM Tech Garage. So definitely follow us on there because a lot of times you get a quick sneak peek and behind the scenes of our projects and what we're getting ready to do. So guys, share the channel, help us grow. And at the end of the month, if we reach our goals, this is what we can do. I don't care where you're from. It's international, open to anybody. We'll reach out to you. You give us your address and you should hopefully have this. So guys, thanks for watching. I hope you like this build and we'll see what we come up with next.